Hello and welcome. This is Muhammad Mudassir Alam, Public Relations Officer, Central University of South Bihar, Gaya, India. I am here with an exclusive interview with one of our special guests, international guest, a Fulbright Fellow who is presently on the trip of India and especially Central University of South Bihar. For past one month, she is here. In the interview further, I am going to talk with her. I would ask the question regarding Indian University, Southeast USA, as well as the career opportunities for the students who are driving to pursue higher education like PhD or postdoctorate in United States of America. I would ask the many technical questions, many basic questions, as well as the I will also try to take some tips how you can prepare for those tests and how you can get admission in United States of America. So, a very much a warm welcome to Professor Sauhao Chan. Namaste, good morning, Assalamu alaikum, Sasriyaka. First of all, I would request you to kindly introduce yourself to our viewers, our subscribers, as well as our students. Yeah, uh, I'm Saho Chang and I'm the professor of educational psychology at Indiana University Southeast. And I have been uh, in that position like uh, the university for like 15 years. And before that, and I was uh, teaching in a uh, university of Macau. I am just uh, putting a simple question. Yeah. Can you tell about your purpose of visit to India? Why are you in India? Why you are in Central University of South Bihar? Yeah, I'm here pretty much because the, uh, the scheme uh, at the School of Education, uh, the project is like, because the School of Education is expanding. Um, they are getting more and more programs and uh, you know, more students. And they would like to really look at the assessment piece of it, like the classroom assessment, like uh, the program assessment, because they realize you know, it's just so important you know, for, you know, for the improvement of the, uh, the instruction and also for the accreditation purpose. Assessment is a big piece of it. So they would like to have some ideas, you know, how to make it better. You have already told that what is the purpose. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you elaborate about the it is sponsored, fully sponsored, or you mm -hmm. have invested some money from your side for a trip mm -hmm. to India? Yeah. It's a collaboration between the government of India and the government of the United States. So like for my trip here, like they both pull in you know, to support all the expenses um, to make it happen. So it's more like a collaboration between two countries. For almost about a month, you are in Central University of South Bihar mm -hmm. campus. Uh, this is the land of the Gaya. And you have also explored the nearby region. So yeah. What uh, is your experience all about about this place? How are you feeling like? What is the oh, feeling like now? I, I'm i just impressed with you know, the people I have met and the places I have been to. Because the people I have met, they are just so dedicated, like including faculty and staff on campus here. I can feel that dedication, uh, the passion about the work of everyone on campus. That's something very impressive. And also in this area is full of history. There's a lot of like historic sites and I'm glad I had the opportunity like to visit different places, the temples, um, and just the scale, you know, the history behind all of this. And so I really understand, you know, the culture and the, the treasure you have here in this area. That's great that uh, you like the university, yeah, the people, yeah. the people around the university campus and other parts of Gaya. Yeah. Uh, one more question for our viewers, for our students, whoever is watching this uh, video, this interview. Regarding the process of getting admission in uh, the universities of uh, United States of America, like the Indiana mm -hmm. University, Southeast or other universities, mm -hmm. what is the exact process, how one can proceed if uh, like a layman, like a beginner, if someone is wishing to start, that I have to yeah. take admission in United States of America, like mm -hmm. in the course like PhD mm -hmm. or postdoctorate after that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the exact process? What is the simple process? No, usually if you would like to go to the graduate school in the United States and still we have to take a GRE or the GMAT. Okay. So GRE is for most of the subjects, but GMAT is for business. Okay. And then of course you know, for international students, you will have to take like TOEFL. And I would think like the GRE or the GMAT score is very important. You, if you can score higher points, of course you get better chance to be admitted. 
Um, and after that, you know, usually, you know, school will ask you to write some something like a personal statement. Okay. So it's something like why you want to come to our oh, school, right? Okay. And why you want to study this, and what can you bring to the school, okay. and why we have to admit you, because like if you are admitted to the like PhD pro program in the United States, pretty pretty much it means they they will give you a scholarship. So most of the time you get a scholarship. So like for every year they don't really admit that many students. Usually like for one program, maybe like 15 students is you know probably the number they will admit. So uh, you spoke about uh, GRE and uh, mm -hmm. then TOEFL. Uh, what is the process of uh, uh, preparing oneself? Mm -hmm. Like for Indians, uh, once you are thinking about English. Mm -hmm. or yeah. an international level competition how one can prepare how easily mm -hmm. one can prepare for such kind of competition such kind of qualifying examination mm -hmm. that is the primary criteria for getting admission yeah. Yeah. Uh, for application in U uh, USA universities I think first go to the library because <laughs> you, you need the resource books okay you need those uh, practice uh, books and to really know when you say the GRE what does it mean right what exactly do they ask you have to know that there are different portions of the test. So there are many different like re reference books. So get the book, learn the prop you know, learn which area, you know, how much time it takes to take the test and then what questions they ask and practice. You just need to practice a lot. So go to the library to get the reference book and all the resource book and you know, work with your librarian. And they will have some more resources to help you prepare for that and of course again you know you can really cram it okay. right you really have to space it out especially i think for the english portion usually there's a lot of vocabulary okay. in GRE okay. you can't really remember the definition and what it means overnight it takes time maybe you can plan something like uh, i would like to learn maybe 10 uh, vocabulary per okay. day okay. then over time you will have a lot of vocabulary because usually for, for the English uh, section what is challenging is the vocabulary um, Voca vocabulary is very much words, important yeah, that's very and important you, you have yeah. given a very uh, mm -hmm. good suggestion that uh, make a make it a habit that you memorize at least 10 new words every yeah, day you, you need to and it that. will be very much grateful, uh, helpful for uh, qualifying those exams those uh, mm -hmm. qualifying exams yeah, yeah. Uh, one more thing you uh, spoke about library you can uh, get the resources in the mm -hmm. library mm -hmm. uh, like in india like in us okay uh, yeah. some books may be common some international books may be mm -hmm. common yeah. Is there any specific book you would like to suggest or it is just general kind of thing you just um, uh, read the things and you will be able to uh, appear in those kind of exams or you will mm -hmm. be able to crack those exams. Is there any specific book or any resource? No, usually like because the GLE or the GMAC, they are from the, you no, know, uh, I remember it's the testing center. I forgot the name of that, okay. but they, they publi published the book for practice okay. so I would go for that because it's it comes from them okay, you know, okay. that's the testing agency there okay, okay. so uh, look for those folks okay already they already issued they have they published the yeah, you can say model published. type mm -hmm. model yeah. question type of book yeah. mm -hmm. that can be very much very beneficial uh, uh, readers viewers uh, remember this point if you yeah. wish to go to United States of America you mm -hmm. are willing to go there for pursuing higher studies so uh, improve your vocabulary and you try to look for that resource, that uh, the agency that is conducting the test. You are told that the scholarship fellowship is usually offered by the USA yeah, University. Yeah. Is there any chance for that uh, you get the self-financing seats or something mm -hmm. like that? Is there? Oh, any? Yeah, of course. No, if you, you know can support it, of course you can pay for it, right? Okay. And because most university will offer like the scholarship, you no, know, for uh, for uh, doctoral students. But some may not cover everything. So when I say the scholarship, it doesn't mean that they will cover everything. everything. So it, it really depends on the school. Okay. So when they give you the offer, you have to read the letter very carefully to see what's covered. They will let you know. Um, so maybe you still need some kind of like, you know, finance, you know, some, some money to support yourself. But like, 
there are opportunity to work on campus also. Okay. Okay, um, okay. So there are different opportunities. And also, like when you are there, you can work with the faculty over there. Okay. Usually, they will help the international students. And also, like if you're interested in applying, most schools will have the international uh, students office. And also, they will have uh, an office for a uh, scholarship, grants, funding like that. So contact them. So get more information because they know better. They know what kind of process and what challenges you will have and also the resources uh, or the scholarship you can apply for. Okay, okay. percent scholarship may not be offered, but you will get the chance uh, to mm -hmm. work in extra hours like earn while learning, such kind of schemes yeah. are available yeah. there. Yeah. You can work with the professors part time yeah. and you can earn some money. These are the yeah. ways. Yeah. It's very good that along yeah. with the studying, you can earn some money. Yeah. Uh, one more question, like you spoke about more about TOEFL and GRE. What is the exact date or what is the duration when uh, one can apply for such kind of it is all It is going all around the air or there is some specific time? You should, yeah, that's a deadline. Okay. Um, just be pre prepared when you are thinking of applying because different schools have different deadlines, but pretty much it's like, you know, think about one year ahead. Okay. And then start contacting the school you are interested in and then see what's the deadline i would say like you know by the end of this it's earlier than december okay. probably like october or november okay. but again you no know, you have to check the, the deadline but just be prepared usually we do things always like one year ahead of the time oh, so okay. you no know, you have to do it earlier yeah. very good uh, thing you were told that if you are uh, wishing for something if you are dreaming for something you have to chase your dream and for that the first thing is that you have to be remember prepared for that and you have to yeah. chase it that dream. the date is not specific the month is not specific different universities yeah. have different deadlines yeah. so all the way you have to till you get admission you have to visit the websites of those universities mm -hmm. you have to google the things as much as you mm -hmm. can yeah so that you can get the information and no mm -hmm. will uh, no one will uh, bring all the things on plate uh, that's you will have uh, someone will serve on your plate just have it so you have to put lots of effort to get admission uh, in any university or psa so that's the thing yeah. and uh, before closing this interview uh, uh, i will uh, just give you two to three minutes any point that i have left during this interview and if you have missed any point you are free to <laughs> share that point and before closing of this interview. No, I think there's one question a lot of students have asked me because I have been doing different like interaction session with uh, students from the campus, oh. different majors and different uh, like level of the students. They always ask me like the difference between the schools and the, uh, in the United States and, and your campus, right? And I, I would say like from you know having been here for a month and I have visited a lot of facilities on campus um, I, I would say like we, we are doing very similar work similar. and the facilities everything is very similar and I, I can tell your university is really ahead of the time in terms of the higher education um, you have the infrastructure and the facilities to support to support it. Um, if I can make some you no know, subjection or something, and I, I would say like keep up with the good work, and maybe for some areas, because I, I know like the teachers you know and the staff and they have a, a heavy load workload. Um, if there could be any more support for them, that would be wonderful. Yeah. But I, I would like the students to know you are in a good place with very good facility, with very dedicated uh, faculty and staff, and just you know uh, support them, and then hopefully you will get more support also, right? Okay. <laughs> to continue the good work. You have uh, mentioned very good point that uh, you find. Uh, our university, that is Central University of mm -hmm. South Bihar, in par with the universities of USA, yeah, and yeah. some in somewhere we are a little bit ahead in yeah. some areas. Yeah. And you have given very good suggestions as well to improve a uh, little bit of improvement wherever mm -hmm. is the scope. 
Professor Sao Hao Chang, uh, you have given me your precious time. Thanks a lot for that. Thanks for talking with uh, me. And uh, we hope uh, many viewers, whoever will watch this interview, they will be benefited by your talk, yeah. your uh, points you have uh, put here. Thanks a lot. Okay, you're welcome. Namaste.